Look around Moscow today. There is an unbelievable amount of investment coming into this country from Western business leaders who clearly believe there is a stable future for their investments in this country. Look at what the Obama administration is saying. They're saying they want the reset of relations with Russia. They've gone much further. They say that our relationship is built on core strategic interests. They've signed a new nuclear arms reduction treaty. They want Russia to be more involved with NATO decision-making. This is the way the West sees Medvedev and Putin today. Let me tell you about investment. Capital flight from this country last year was $40 billion. Capital flight this year will be the same. If you look at the structure of investment, the most, the most important investment come to oil and gas sector. That's true. Like in Saudi Arabia, like in some other oil countries like Venezuela, for example. But look, we need real non-commodities business in this country. Do you have some examples of high-tech investment in this country? No. Russia is an oil superpower, that's true, and the world uh, faced deficit of oil and gas. Nevertheless, what happened with corruption, with absence of freedom, etc., people from the West are ready to come to Saudi Arabia, to Venezuela, to Iran even, to invest because they need oil and gas. Do you feel the, same, the same thing happened with Russia, do absolutely you, the same. Do you feel let down? by Western governments, Western business that is so determined to try to work with the Putin Medvedev government here? Well, I have an idea for you how to help democracy in Russia. Let you implement sanctions against people who break Russian constitution and international um, agreement uh, about human rights and democracy. Just very small list. Do, do you seriously think anybody in just, the West... Just, just, just very small list. Like you, like you did with Lukashenko, last, like you did with Ahmadinejad, and do you think, like you did with some other dictatorship. And let me ask you, do you think that anybody in any Western government, think of the European Union, think of the reliance on gas from Russia, think of Obama's messages about Russia, do you think any Western government is going to take seriously your call for sanctions on Russia? I am talking about sanctions not against the state, but against persons who break and who destroy people's rights in this country. The, the, I explain the, you you're why. You're talking about the state's president, the state's prime minister. So do you want sanctions yeah, yeah, from yeah, the West on Vladimir of Putin? Course. And you of think that's a serious proposition? Absolutely. When you, you, you are talking mainly about double standards. Why you implemented sanctions about Lukashenko? What's the difference between Putin and Lukashenko? One guy is dictator, another guy is dictator. Why you are ready to implement sanctions against Lukashenko and do not touch Putin? Let you explain me. What's the difference? Maybe you know?